Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. It's Beatles week, and for my final lesson this week, instead of giving you a new song to look at, I want to give you an update and some extra insight into an old lesson of mine from a few years ago. It's one of my biggest hits here on YouTube, and it's Love Me Do. Now, I've had a lot of questions about that lesson, because what I gave you in that lesson was the intro um, tab, which you can see on the screen, and that's the... Um Now, I don't want to go through that today, although I've put the tab on the screen for reference. Check out my first lesson on Love Me Do for that. But I've had a lot of questions about the bridge or, or the kind of the solo bit in the middle. Now, the reason I didn't put it in the original lesson is because my lessons are diatonic lessons, or for the most part they are. And the original, I believe, was played on a chromatic. And the notes that you need for it are not available on the diatonic, or at least they're not available without bending. So, um, he didn't bend on the record. You can tell it's not the sound of a bend, so I think it's a chromatic harmonica. But we can find those notes by bending, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on that lesson by giving you that solo, how to play it on a, on a C diatonic harmonica, although that's not what was on the original record, using bends. So how does that little solo go? Well, it goes something like this. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing twice, and you can hear there's some bends in there. It's actually really good practice for bends. It's got the second bend on three, and it's got the first and the second bend on hold two. So it's a really good workout for trying to make your bends sound melodic, rather than sounding kind of rough around the edges. So hopefully it'll be a good little workout for you. So the first half... And you'll notice I'm kind of covering almost. I'm trying to dampen that sound. Sometimes bends can be a bit brash, a bit brrr. So I'm trying to kind of mute it almost. So we've got three draw second bend twice. And then three blow. Well, you could go to the two draw, but I think three blow's sensible since the rest of them are draw bends. Um, and then the two draw semitone bend. I'm almost guaranteeing you're going to play that semitone bend on the three draw out of tune because it's not used that often by harmonica players, uh, not used as much as it could be, um, and often when it is, it's not quite in tune. So uh, really good practice for that line. And then, you might find this easier, this second line, two draw or three blow, and then two draw second bend, which most people are more comfortable with, and then two blow, and then one draw. And it just does that twice. And that's all there is to that midsection, but I had so many questions about it, I wanted to sort of give you something to work on. Of course, if you really want to play it like the original, get yourself a chromatic and learn it on that, but it's very good uh, to practice these uh, notes on the, the diatonic, and it's really good uh, for that. Hope you enjoyed looking at this little snippet with me today. I'm going to be on to a new topic next week. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, remember I take requests, so please put your comments beneath the video and also send me your requests by email, contact at learnharmonica.com. Find me on Facebook and Twitter. We've got a great community of players of all levels on there as well. If you've enjoyed this lesson today, please remember to click like, share with your friends and subscribe for free harmonica lessons every single week. I'll be back again soon. Until then, enjoy your practice and I'll see you soon. Cheers.